In this video, I'll show you your chances of winning the Lotto 649 Lottery. Lotto 649 is a national lottery game in Canada. As the name implies, six numbers are drawn from a set of 49 numbers. If a ticket matches all six numbers, the jackpot prize of at least $5 million is won. A bonus number is also drawn, and if a player's ticket matches five numbers and the bonus number, the player wins the second prize, which is usually between 100,000 and 500,000. What we're interested in is what is the probability of winning the jackpot? To find out the probability, we need to find out the total number of combinations. In other words, how many distinct six numbers can we select from 49? To do that, we use the combination formula, and that's shown right here. N represents the total number of balls, which in our case is 49, and R represents the amount that you select, which is 6. So N is equal to 49, and R is equal to 6. We can substitute 49 and 6 into our formula, but rather than doing it the long way, we can do it the easy way using our calculator. We will select this button and choose R. So we'll click 49, shift this button, 6, and we end up with 13 million 983,816. So there are that many distinct combinations of six numbers being chosen. And if you're confused about that statement, let's say you choose one, two, three, four, five, six. That's one distinct combination. One, two, three, four, five, seven is another distinct combination. So if you count them all up, there are 13.9 million of those. So say you select six numbers, there's a 1 in 13.9 million chance to win the jackpot. The percentage is shown on your screen. Now, of course, there's always more prizes to be won. And in question B, we're curious about what happens if you get three out of the six numbers. To find the probability of getting three out of the six numbers, we use the same formula as before, but this time there's more to it. So the probability of winning three out of six is equal to the total number of combinations, which in our case was 13.983816. And now we have to find out how many three out of six combinations exist. To do that, you need to consider that you are choosing six numbers. And out of those six numbers you choose, only three are correct. So six, choose three. If we use our calculator, six, choose three, is equal to 20. So there are 20 ways that you can choose three numbers correct from the six. In addition, there are 43 numbers that weren't chosen out of the six from the 49. And of those 43 numbers, three were chosen. So we'll write down 43, choose three. According to the fundamental counting principle, the number of ways in which a series of successive things can occur is found by multiplying the number of ways in which each thing can occur. So this one can occur 20 ways. And this one can occur, 43, choose 3, 12,341 ways. So we'll multiply, according to the fundamental counting principle, 20 times the number on your screen. And that is the amount of combinations where three numbers are chosen correctly. 246,820. 2, 4, 6, 8, 20. Now we can calculate the probability of getting three numbers correct. And as a percentage, we take this number divided by 1, 3, 9, 8, 3, 8, 1, 6, and multiply this by 100. So there's a 1.76% chance of getting three numbers out of the six. Now what if we wanted to find the probability of winning five out of six numbers and not the bonus number? For this, I want you to keep in mind something. When they drew six numbers, they actually drew seven. And only the first six were the actual numbers. The seventh number was the bonus. We want to find out what the probability of winning five out of the six numbers and none of those five numbers that were chosen were the bonus number. Once again, to do this, we will use the combination formula. And we already know the total number of distinct combinations. It's 13.9. So this time, five out of your six are being chosen. We'll write down six, choose five. And because all five of the numbers that you chose were not the bonus, instead of 43, numbers that were not chosen, we have 42 numbers that were not chosen. Because remember, 49 minus 7 is 42. 
And of those 42 remaining numbers, only one was selected. So I'll write down 42, choose 1. According to the fundamental counting principle, we have to multiply these two numbers, and that dot represents multiplication. We'll use 6, choose 5, times 42, choose 1. This means that there are 252 combinations of this type. And we'll divide this number now by 13, 9, 8, 3, 8, 1, 6. Those are the odds, 3 in every 166,000. And if you want this as a percentage, we multiply this number by 100, and we end up with a percentage of 1.80 times 10 to the power of negative 3. That number is shown on your screen. Lastly, what's the probability of winning 5 out of the 6 numbers plus the bonus number? So out of the 6 numbers drawn, you matched 5 out of the 6. The number you didn't match, however, happened to be the bonus number they drew, that seventh number. So rather than say you matched a total of six numbers, you actually matched five and the bonus. This is usually considered second prize. To do this, this part doesn't change. You've still selected five correct numbers out of your six. So six, choose five. We multiply that to the amount of numbers remaining. There are 42 numbers remaining because seven were selected. And of those 42 numbers remaining, none were selected. And I want you to think about that for a moment. And just to give you an idea of what I mean here, let's pretend that you chose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Those are the six numbers you chose. And the numbers that they selected from the lottery was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and the bonus number was 6. So these match. So do these, the threes, fours, five, and unfortunately, the last number you chose, six, didn't match the seven, except the bonus number matches your six. So you got five plus a bonus number, which was the six. Now the numbers not written here are the 42 other numbers from one to 49. And none of those 42 other numbers did you select in your six numbers that you chose. That's why we have 42 choose zero. In our calculator, we write down six choose five times 42 choose nothing. That's only six out of the 13.8 million. So we can write this down as over here, six divided by 13.9816. That's one in every 2.3 million. Multiply that by 100%, and the percentage is 4.29 times 10 to the power of negative 5, and that's shown on your screen. If you enjoyed the mathematical calculations shown in this video, make sure that you watch the next video where we look at the chances of winning the Mega Millions Lottery. We'll see you soon.